Hey guys, Omni here. It is finally that time to dive into the final episode of The Walking Dead, at least as far as the mainline series goes. Uh, the final episode's tonight, and it just dropped, and we're going to be checking it out. I'm very curious to see how this whole thing comes to a close. Will How will it feel in the end? Um, already looking at the runtime, it's a lot shorter than I feel like that they advertised that it was going to be. So that's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. But um, yeah, man, uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'm curious to see how it ends, and I'm curious to see how everybody's going to feel about it. Uh, I know we got, we're got we not done with this universe. You know, we, There's still the spinoffs that everybody else is watching. Um, there's spinoffs that are coming. You know, the Negan and uh, Maggie one, the Daryl spinoff, and then the limited series with uh, Rick and Michonne that'll be coming. So we're not done, done, but we're done with this pocket at least. So, um, which is interesting. It's it's just it's, it's a weird feeling, you know, especially considering a lot of those characters we've been following for a really long time are kind of just going to be continuing on in other things anyway. So it's 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 a, it's interesting. <laughs> With that said, though, let's go ahead and hop in. Let's see how this whole thing wraps up. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the full length reaction, you check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, gives you access as well. It is in watch along format, so you will sync up your own footage with the time code, so my reaction to the entire thing. Get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies you react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you are going out of way to support the channel. But of course, I know never can do that. And a simple way you can help us out is just by liking, comment, subscribing, sharing these videos because it really does go a long way with helping YouTube grow the channel here. With that said and down the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the series finale of The Walking Dead. Here we go. Episode 24, Rest in Peace. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Man, a wounded Judith has to defend herself right now with, oh, God. Now, shit, now they're both out. Uh, that was a quick lead in. I think that's one of the fastest times we've made it to the intro song, like the actual intro. No! No! Oh. God damn it. Son of a bitch, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow, they made it in. Oh. No. You know how to do this? Yeah, but your type's have to match. Mine goes with anybody. Mo used to make me sell it when I was a kid for money. Hmm. Wow. Oh, <laughs> good thing he wasn't standing in the middle of that. Yes, yo! That thing for Pamela. Wait. 
Yes! Thank God. You all right? Who's here? Elijah. Uh they're not taking notice of this? Okay, there we go. There we go. I feel like more than just those two would have picked up on all that, but that's fine. Damn! <laughs> Making quick work of all these little threads we needed to tie together. Am I gonna die? No, no. You're not gonna die. It was like, I, it was like I'm gonna die. I can't. Mom's gonna find dad, and we're gonna be together. We're all gonna be together. But I was just. But right now, it just. It feels like. Shh, you're not gonna die. You're fine. You're fine. She told me this thing. She told dad. She said we're fine. Dude. No. Walker Speech, we gotta go. I can't, I can't go. Carol, do you copy? Go milk. Uh, uh, it's just like her dad. No. <laughs> Wait, who, who the hell just got pulled out? I have no, I, I could not tell who got just yanked out there. You s sons of bitches with your rocks. Oh my lord. No, there goes another dude. Oh, never mind. We're we're still taking her. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a situation like at the hospital Rick was in. You know, lock her up. She pulls through on her own. Wakes up. <laughs> they lead the horde out away. Oh my God. No! With Coco. Wait, no, with wait, which wait, shit, she ha Oh, okay. What? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. We got two kids. Which one does he have? There's no way we're losing Coco and her. Oh my god. She like mama yeeted them off of her. Wow, that fucking, that stressed me out for a hot minute. I was like, they're not gonna kill the kid, <laughs> right? Yes. Do your thing, man. Junior's not coming back either, is he? I haven't given up hope. We'll find them. Both of them. Yeah, I hope Jerry and Elijah are fine, man. I see me get Oh, he probably went off to on his own to keep Maggie from doing what Maggie's gonna do. What is your angle? There's no angle. I am doing this for you. You take Pammy out with this thing, hell is gonna rain down on you. And you ain't gonna come back. And you have to come back. So I'm gonna do it. Last night, when I was down on my knees, I was about to lose everything. I finally understood what you must have felt. I know that I probably owe you more than this, but I am so sorry for what I took from you. What I took from your son. Coming? Hmm. I can take it. 
take the little one off your hands for a spell if you like. I just want to soak her up, you know? She didn't make it out of there without a scratch, did she? Rosita, when you fell, did... Where? Can, can we... What now? Come on, let us in. Wow. Hey, what are you doing? People are dying. I can't just stand by. We can sneak you out the back. This isn't your fight. These aren't your people. Yes, they are. And so are you. <laughs> the people are worth it. And I'm not going to allow them to fall without a fight. Not today. Yeah. We can do more than just save ourselves. We need to. I'm in. I'm with you. I got you. I'm in. Me too. Let's finish this. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm with you. Lead the way, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Just pop off Pamela from here. Oh shit. Back up, back up. Back up. <laughs> Damn. Stop. The hell you doing? We all deserve better than this. I built this place to be like the old world. That was the fucking problem. If I open the gates, the dead will get in, not just the living. If you don't, you're gonna lose everything anyway. You got one enemy. We need the walking dead. <laughs> <laughs> On your command, General Mercer. Yes. Man, the whole rest of the Commonwealth is overrun, too, already. It's like a small handful of people that managed to escape it. Okay? Yes! Jerry? Yes! Thank God. Oh, it's Lance. <laughs> It was uh, Maggie. It's too easy. Under the estates, and we'll finish wiring the rest once you get the fuel back. In the meantime, we'll start the PA system to drop all the rotters to the estates. Princess, come on in. <laughs> wow, really? Let's do it. Pamela's house. <laughs> oh my lord. God damn. They sent them to hell. But when I look at you, all I see is that back coming down on his head. <sighs> You're calling for me. 
and I hear you mocking him while he's dying. Sorry. I can't forgive you, even though I'm so grateful that you saved my son. Even though I know that you're trying. I don't want to hate you anymore. I don't want to hurt like that. And I don't want my son to see that anybody has that kind of hold over me. If you and Annie want to stay, you have earned your place. But if I can't look at you some days, if I can't work with you, that's why. Because all I have are my memories. And I don't want to remember Glenn like that. Oh, that looks so good. How much time has passed? She's still walking around. You okay? Yeah. Everything's perfect. I just want to remember this moment. I wouldn't be the man I am today if I hadn't met you. I'm glad I was you in the end. One year later. No. I know we are not bonded by blood. We are family. As your governor, I am your lieutenant governor, Michael Mercer. <laughs> You're so cute. Compass. Judith, this has always helped me find my way. I'm returning it to you mm. now in the hope that it can guide you to your dreams. Thank you for letting me use it. Negan. Aww. Bridge wanted to talk? Yeah. I want to talk about the future. There's a lot out there to find out about. And I think it's time we did. So are they going to be like scouts or ambassadors to see what all's out the there still? I know. Aww. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. I'm allowed to be a little sad. No. <laughs> They're the only season oneers left, aren't they? <laughs> I'm out there. If I hear anything, see anything, I'll find them both. I'll bring them home. All right. Carol. Yeah. You deserve a happy ending too. I'll be back. Heading off into the Daryl spinoff. I assume Maggie's talking about heading up to New York with Negan for that spinoff. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Look at it looking all nice and pretty out there. Eh, still these guys, but it's it's fine otherwise. Oh! I think of the dead all the time. We're still connected. I think about them all every to day. Everybody we ever love. Their faces. What I learn from them. How they made me who I am. No. So much more than all this made me who I am. We'll always be together, even when we're apart. We, together, are the strongest thing. Oh, hi. <laughs> What is this outfit? Loving it. I know you're back there. I know your brother is back there. Just as sure as I know he's <sighs> out there. Somewhere. Not 
not just as a part of us. He's alive out there. We're setting up all the spin-offs right now. Ugh. 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 God damn it. What? What I said. It's what he said. Hold it to your heart. It's true. Forever. Oh my lord! Michonne! What are you doing? Holy shit! <laughs> Coming soon, Dead City. We are gonna make you run. Daryl Dixon. Oh, this is the name of the series. Rick and Michonne. Since we had one of these talks. Come on. We gotta get Fears out. continuing. Bigger, deader. Walking Dead Universe coming soon. It's just not over. Jesus. <laughs> Like, I feel like I, I get what they're doing with the this finale, but, like, it, it at the same time, it didn't feel like a finale to me. And that was one of the things I was kind of wondering about going into this. Like, I think for, like, a pocket of these characters that this might be the last time we see them. But, like, uh, with everything else, I, I feel like we'll probably revisit, it, like, some familiar faces in the other series here. At least when they conclude or wrap up. I will say the whole like back half of this, just kind of setting up all of the different spinoffs though. The 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 reveal of like the the like the flashback, the sizzle reel of us going through all of like the people we've lost, all the people that have been a major part of the show and all that, up until like the the reveals of Michonne and Rick and where they are. I think that was a pretty solid and awesome part of this whole thing. But again, it's kind of separate from the actual, what the show's been building and all of that. So I, I don't necessarily consider it part of the finale, but it was a nice little cherry on top, to say the least. I think the, if I remember right, the Rick and Michonne thing is gonna be just a, a one season, like limited series. So maybe they'll get him out, whatever situation he's got himself stuck in and find their way back home. Um, that would maybe be the conclusion of that. We see them return to Alexandria. And then, of course, we got Dead City with Maggie and Negan. And then Daryl, which was originally going to be Daryl and Carol. But uh, Melissa McBride just didn't want to sign on to anything. So they reworked it to be just a Daryl show. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. Because... Yeah, I, I think this was a good, solid ending for what the show itself has been about. So, like, everything has been, like, about finding stabilization, bringing people together, and creating this world where we don't necessarily have to live in fear. So, like, our core tenants, our core line, has managed to succeed at that. Alexandria is up and running. Um, we've now taken back the Commonwealth and made that a... Paradise, it seems like. Sure, it's got its problems, whatever, but it looks like it's up and running pretty solid. Um, I, I don't think we saw Oceanside or uh, Hilltop, <laughs> but, um, well, Hilltop got blown the F up again. 
So there's nothing to go back there unless they wanted to rebuild. But yeah, we didn't see Oceanside at all. For the most part, everything's coming together there. So like everything that they had set out to really achieve by the end has has been accomplished. And what's these spinoffs at least um, are just kind of accentuating some of the stories that were still left hanging, like Rick and Michonne's story, um, to bring that to a close and at least tie up those loose ends. Daryl being this free roaming spirit and extending the re to the reaches of the country and seeing what he can find and whatever to bring it back in, to expand as they reach out from what they've built. Same with Maggie and Negan, what they plan on doing in that. It's like going out into the world and seeing what all's out there and you know seeing how they can bring that in, expand outward, pretty much make Lance's dream a reality, but without his manipulation and uh, horrible ethics behind it all. So it's pretty interesting to see how that all came through. Um, Rosita getting that huge power buff in the middle of that zombie swarm. I, I was kind of preparing myself because I was like, I don't think they'd give her something that cool and come out of it scot-free, especially because they, with that fake out there, like it's one of those situations where we got to be a little grounded <laughs> at times. And that was sad, man, especially bringing it back to Eugene and their relationship and, you know, how they were introduced, how they found each other, where they are now, and just how far that whole thing has come. <sighs> and we lost Dan Fogler and Julie. We lost, I think that's it, Rosita and those two, right? Am I forgetting anybody? Hell, Pamela's still alive, hanging out. Mercer and Ezekiel are now running the Commonwealth. Um, yeah, man, I think it was a nice, nice poetic ending. I just, I still feel like w it, after a point, it got a little, but, and these were things that were all happening outside of the show's control, except for one thing, but I'm not going to go harping on that again, that this feels a lot like a compromise with everything that's been going on, everything that's happened in the last couple of years. And I, I still personally feel like, for me, that the the season eight finale would have been a great poetic way to end the show. With the looking off into the sunset, with promise in, in the air, with a hope and a bright future uh, paved ahead of us. Most of the people that everybody has kind of been with from the beginning is still there. Um, a lot of the themes, core and tentatively up until that point, all bookended at the end of that season. I like what they did in the end. Was it as satisfying as I hoped it would be? Personally, not not so much. It was still good. Um, a lot of great action, a lot of great moments of people coming together and rising above. It's pretty solid, man. I'm very interested about what Rick has been dealing with this entire time, who picked him up, what they were doing, why he's escaped and like why they're out, out for him. And then Michonne and her, this battle armor she's got going on. She's just running in like a samurai into the, this huge horde, man. I'm really, I'm really interested in that. I will say as far as the spinoffs go, I don't know how many of them I will be covering on the channel. I can tell you for certain, I will be watching the Rick and Michonne thing. Um, Cause that's the one I really want to know what's going on. And I just want more, I want Rick, man. I really miss Rick so much. Um, so like, I really want to see where that's going and how that brings things back into the fold. But guys, that's it for this finale. I'd love to know what you thought. What are your thoughts on the spinoffs? What do you think about how this came to an end? Does it feel satisfying? Does it not? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video and let me know what shows you might be interested in me checking out. And maybe we'll see if that changes anything. But guys, Remember, if you want to see the full A3 action, check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherrod, Ryan, Karen, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McGann, Jeffrey Hale, and M. Sephiroth. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.